today's subject is honestly I don't know if everybody's done it I don't know how close I've come to it in some cases it would be a sin in some cases it would be but to blame God and this would be a third message I've done on blame over the year and we always want to find blame the unsaved world say why did God kill the children why did God allow this to happen why did he let death if God's all powerful and almighty why and you did it God insurance paperwork says act of God that's blaming God and there are people who outright whether in distress whether in anger whether in confusion whatever it is they blame God or have blamed God and maybe it's the moment of the of the situation that happened they blame God and there are people their entire life most of their life they blame God And blaming God is not the answer. So the first place we have is Genesis 42, 28. Now what happens is Joseph's brothers have come into Egypt. And he said, you know, bring back your brother. He has filled their sacks with corn and their money. Joseph did. And, and Genesis 42, 28 and he said unto his brethren, and this would be uh, it says one of them open the sack. Yeah. All right, so we're not told. He said unto his brother, brethren, my money is restored. That was Joseph that did that. And lo, even in my sack, that was Joseph that did that. And their heart failed them, and they were afraid. Saying among to another, the Israelites, Simeon's in jail, Joseph is in Egypt, and Benjamin is back home. Saying amongst their other, nine of them, what is this that God has done unto us? God didn't do it. Joseph did it. And it's kind of ironic that Joseph is the greatest type of Jesus Christ. So, unknowingly, they're calling Joseph God, which Jesus is God, but that's not our study today. And in the wilderness, the, the Israelites griped and complained and murmured against Moses and Aaron, and Moses and Aaron would be, hey, it ain't us, it's God. We got no food. We got no water. Uh, Moses, uh, how dare you let this family die? Uh, why did you kill? No, God did it. And we're not going to look up those episodes because it does not outright say God. But Moses and Aaron, Moses would say, you have provoked the Lord and not me and Aaron. So here are the nine brothers of Joseph. And there, and Joseph has put the money in their sack. And what, what did God do? Why couldn't they say, why not the, the accountant or the, the, the employee back there in Egypt? Maybe he made an oversight. Maybe he made a mistake. No, but we go, and I say we, if I have done it, I mean, I have asked God why he has done things. And even then, we don't know if it's God. You have yourself, you have God, and you have the devil. Friends, if you smoke tobacco products, and your lungs develop COPD and emphysema, that's not God. That's not even really the devil. That was you. 
You chose this moment. So here is God getting the blame for something Joseph did. And in verse 35, it came to pass as they emptied their sacks, behold, every man's bundle of money was in his sack. Both they and their fathers saw the bundle of money and were afraid. Joseph did that, not God. Now, Ruth chapter 1. Now, the story of Ruth is Elimelech has a wife named Naomi and two sons. And in the process of time, Elimelech dies. After a famine's in the land of Bethlehem, he moves his family to Moab, and then he dies. And they have two sons, and they marry Moabites, women of Moab. And they die. And now there are three widows, one Jewish, two of Moabite. Now half, you know, they marry the Jew. And all the husbands have died. And Naomi settles her heart to go back to Bethlehem because she hears that there's food. Ophrah goes back to her people. Ruth stays with her. And when Naomi comes back into the city of Bethlehem, we see her attitude. Verse 20, she said unto him, Call me not Naomi. Well, that's your name. Call me Myra, which means bitter. For the Almighty God has dwelt very bitterly with me. I went out full, husband, two children, and the Lord has brought me home again empty. Why then call me Naomi, seeing the Lord has testified against me, and the Almighty has afflicted me? Look at her, blame God. God killed my husband. God killed my two boys. Okay. But the book of Ruth doesn't tell us why Elimelech and the sons died. Was it entirely the revenge of God, the judgment of God upon Naomi that the three men in her lives died? That's what she's saying. Can she say that for a fact? The sons of, J of, of, of Jacob said God put the money back in their sack, and actually it was Joseph. Maybe other things killed the males of Naomi's family. Surely God testified against God afflicted. Well, surely he hasn't, because God has provided this wonder, virtuous, hard-working daughter-in-law called Ruth. But Naomi doesn't know Ruth 2, Ruth 3, Ruth 4. She doesn't know that yet. At the moment, the sons of Jacob, at the moment, the insurance papers, it says an act of God. Well, maybe you built your house in the wrong spot. I mean, when you build an entire city as uh, in, Lo in Louisiana, and when the city floods out because you're below sea level, well, it's not an act of God. <laughs> I mean, God may have helped, but that's engineering stupidity. If you build your house in an area that's prone to flooding and possibilities thereof, that's not God's fault. That's 
the placement. If a baby is born addicted to harsh, illegal drugs, that's not God's fault. That's the mother who has been doing that stuff while pregnant. Naomi blames God in bitterness and anger over the deaths of her husband and her sons. The children of Israel blame God. Uh, uh, we didn't steal it. We didn't take it. What's going on here? In the case of Naomi, did God do it? We don't know. I'm sure she didn't know either. Genesis 3. Genesis 3.12. And the man, Adam, said, The woman thou gavest to me. Now look. The woman that thou gavest to me, right, Adam said to God, that woman that you gave me, she gave me the tree and I did eat. God just said, who told thee thou, hast, thou was naked? Has thou eaten the tree which I command thee thou shalt not eat? Adam's answer should, I ate the tree, I realized I became naked. That is Adam's answer. What is his reply? You gave me that woman. It's her fault. Now the woman going about the serpent, that was another message we did. Adam is standing before God and Adam says, it's your fault, God. Is it right or wrong? Well, the woman had a part with the serpent that was that beguiled her. Adam was right there with her. Why didn't he speak up? Why didn't he give the answer? Why? I mean, come on, Adam. It wasn't totally the woman's fault. You have a mouth, too. It would have been far better... For you to be completely alone for all eternity? I mean, with no death at all? Just you by yourself and all the animals. Yes, God made the woman. And there are people in marriages today, both husband and wife, they blame God for the spouse and all the failures thereof. But it takes two to tangle. It may not always been the woman's fault. It may not always been the husband's fault. Maybe it was both of you. So we have, so far, we have men blaming God for something that Joseph did. We have a woman blaming God for the death of her husband and children. Or you could say you would have a man that is blaming God for the death of his wife and his children. Either or. Now you have a man blaming God for the wife. And the wife could blame God for the husband. Because I believe it's Proverbs 18 it states that a wife is a favor of God. But it's so simple. Look, this is the first man, the first instant, the first time. And what can he think of when questioned by God when he is guilty? It was someone else's fault. In bitterness and angry, angry and anger of death, 
It's God's fault. In the scare of theft that wasn't really a theft, it's God's fault. Job 1. Job 1 9. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for naught? Has not thou made a hedge about him, about his house, and about all that he has on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hand, and his substance is increased in the land. Look at this. That's Satan. Satan is blaming God. You are totally blessing that guy. You are protecting that guy. You are giving that guy all the benefits. Ooh, sound like a little bitterness there, uh, Satan. Almost like Naomi. God's love upon Job, and it irritates Satan. Satan knows Job has sinned. And yet God is there protecting him. Blessing him. And Satan says... You're protecting him, God. You're blessing him. Blame him. And it's an all right truth. Did God put the money in the sacks? No, he didn't. Joseph did. Did God kill Abimelech and the two sons? We really don't know. We don't know. Did God give Adam the wife, the woman? Yes. Is it entirely the woman's fault? No. Because Adam was there. Was it God's fault? No. Because God told them. God warned them. But isn't it ironic that the blame of God of 100% truth That the blame of God is it has to be Satan. Because everything Satan says is true. The children of Jacob, Israel, didn't tell the truth. Not sure if Naomi told the truth. Surely it wasn't Adam's fault that gave Adam, I mean, it wasn't God's fault that gave Adam that woman. John 11. John 11, 21. Not a complete opposite of Martha. Well, not opposite. Then Martha said unto, then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother had not died. True. Maybe not true. Lazarus could have died and Jesus would have rose him there from the dead. He's done it before. But I believe Jesus is God and God is Jesus. So Martha is blaming God. Why didn't you get here on time? Is she telling the truth? Uh, he could have died and Jesus could have resurrected him there. Jesus knew and he waited. But Jesus knew what he was already going to do. Have you not ever blamed God for something that maybe somebody else did, not God, the children of Israel? Okay. Have you ever blamed God for a death, financial loss, trouble, mayhem in your family? 
and we're really not sure if God was in, it was God's fault. My first wife, Lisa, died of breast cancer. We still do not know to this day where the cancer came from. There's all kinds of possibilities. Did she wickedly sin against God? She was a sinner. I wouldn't say wickedly. There could have been a, a sin that was in her life. Okay, maybe God did that. I've done worse. Why didn't God give me cancer? My second wife, well, she knew smoking was wrong. I preached against smoking. I prayed against the smoking. She thought she could deal the cards, play the, play the roulette wheel, shoot the dice, and she died of lung cancer from smoking. Can't blame God. Can't blame her husband. How about Adam? Again, like I said, there are men who blame God for their wives, and there are wives who blame God for their husbands. It might be a little mixture of two, or both. Satan blames God for his protection on God's people. Martha here is blaming because, you know, Lord, if you would have been here. You ever stood against God in any of these five circumstances and blamed them? Oh, you don't have to blame out the mouth. You can blame in the heart and not say nothing. Maybe there in the heart. Maybe we didn't say it verbally. Maybe we didn't vocalize it. But maybe in the heart we have blamed God for something in our lives. God's fault. And let me tell you, if it is not God's fault, we are false witnesses. You read what the book of, book of Proverbs says about the false witness? Ought we not sometimes get down our knees and say, Lord, I may have blamed you falsely. I may have blamed you. Whether out of the mouth or in the heart, I may have blamed you. And like the brothers of Joseph, I could be wrong. Like Naomi. I don't know. I don't know what the circumstances that the husband and the sons died. Maybe it was. Like Adam, it's his fault. It's her fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. It's the job you gave me. It's the boss you put in charge. It's the children. You know, God's just protecting you. God's taking care of you. God is blessing you. That's Satan troll. Or if you would only been here, Lord, where were you? And that's found out through the whole book of, throughout all, many of the chapters, I'm trying to say, in the book of Psalms. Where are you, Lord? Why are you so long in here? I don't know. Everybody blamed God for something. Has everybody blamed God for something? I don't know.